Welcome back to another episode of Bite Sized. In this episode, we're just going to be making a very simple homing projectile. We launch an object away, and this is our moving projectile, and it can follow around this target dummy that we have uh, and just track it uh, dynamically as it exists. So that's what we will be looking to create today. So to start off, we will be creating a homing projectile folder. I've created one here already. And then we want to have some kind of target that we're going to home in on. So we'll just create a blueprint class of type actor. We call it bp underscore homing target dummy. So this is the target that we will be trying to hit with our homing missile or homing projectile. And to this one, we will be adding a billboard. And the reason for this is we just want to be able to see it. We'll change the the texture to be a target like so we will uh, type in hidden so that we can remove the hidden so it actually shows in game and then we'll uh, replace the scene component the root with it by dragging over and replacing so this is our target uh, dummy now that we can place in our world and it looks like this okay next step is that we want to actually create our projectile then so we create another class that will be our projectile uh, which could be a missile or whatever you want uh, and you just create the type actor we'll call it bp underscore uh, homing target not target homing uh, projectile the homing projectile will be very simple for us we will just be adding a couple of things we will be adding a projectile movement component uh, disappeared for me there there we go like so and inside of this projector component we we want to do a few things we want to make sure that uh, it's a homing projectile to make sure that we're tracking something and we might want to add a acceleration magnitude this will determine how fiercely the projectile will be moving towards um, the the homing target how it will try to recalibrate to to, to try and hit it so we can take something fairly large here just to make it very obvious that what's happening uh, you could have an initial uh, look uh, speed if you wanted to if you wanted it to go in a certain location first and then start homing that that's fine as well uh, but essentially what we want to do here is that on begin play we want to take our projectile movement and we want to say uh, set our homing target component this one requires you to have a scene component so we want to have a scene component in as a variable here so we'll promote this to a variable we can call this our home, homing target component is fine, I guess. It's pretty descriptive of what it's going to be doing. So that's all that it needs. Um, in addition to, of course, making it instance editable and exposed on spawn. So we can tell a missile or a target uh, uh, projectile immediately that this is what you're supposed to be uh, trying to hit. So with that in place, we just need to go into our actual character now and, and spawn this projectile uh, into the world. So we'll go in to edit our third person character in this case i'll create an event uh, keyboard three so we'll have on the three key in this case we'll actually cause our uh, spawning uh, to make this a little bit clean i will make a, a helping event which i will be calling uh, custom event i will call it spawn homing projectile so the three key will just be calling the spawn homing projectile like so uh, the spawn homing projectile here, it will be spawning a class, spawn uh, actor of class, and we want to make sure that it's our homing projectile. So homing, homing projectile, like so, and we'll break our transform, split it up like so, and we'll take our uh, actor location of ourselves and use that as the start location for the spawning of this projectile. Now it also wants to have a homing target component. The homing target component is, as you can see here, a scene component. We want to make this a little bit clean, so we create a variable. We can make this our homing target. We'll make it of the type, it could be actor. So let's actually just do actor, like so. So this homing uh, target, we want to click on the eye, so it's instance editable, and we'll drag that reference out here. And then we'll say we want to get component by class from this. This means that it will go into this uh, object reference and it will say, I want to get a component that matches what we're looking for. So if I take a scene component here, it will just take the first component. We don't have many components in this class. We just have essentially a, uh, well, not 
yeah, um, in in the homing target. Don't I have this open anymore? No, I don't. Over here, we don't have a whole lot. We just have our root scene component here, which is our billboard currently. So that is the location that it will be grabbing the the root uh, when we do this. So we're sending, uh, we're taking our target, we're taking its component by class, a scene component, sending it into our spawn projectile, which of course here is using that uh, exposed on spawn component to use as its uh, setted homing target. Now with all of that in place, we just need to actually uh, mark which target we want to have. So our character here is, uh, we have exposed some variables on the character here, homing target. So we just take this pivot and click on this target. Now we can see we have a BP homing target dummy over here. So if we spawn the, the, the object now, if we just go in, press three key in this case, nothing is happening because our homing projector is appearing, but we don't see anything. Uh, to have some kind of visual representation of this, we'll go to our homing projectile, we'll add a static mesh, we'll make it of a type sphere. What spheres do we have? Let's take just one of the spheres here. It doesn't really matter. It will depend on the size, of course, but yeah. Other than that, we might want to remove its collisions. We'll go to the collision presets here and we'll say, instead of block all, we'll take no collision at all. And so, and if we now go in and spawn, we can see that we have this ball that tries to reach to our targets that we have set up. And, uh, it is currently fighting with a few different uh, forces in the world. It has its momentum and it has the gravity and things like that. So if you want to make a projectile that doesn't have gravity, you can go into the projectile, projectile movement and you can say uh, gravity and set it to zero. Compile and run again and we'll see. We spawn this projectile and we eject. Now we can see that we have this ball that is trying to reach this target and if we move this target around you can see that it will actually try to follow it around and, and home in on where it is going uh, allowing the forces that are of course already enacting upon it so that's how you can create a simple uh, homing projectile that's going to be all for now keep on learning take care a big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos, or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.